what's up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and this is something new that i'm doing even though i've been trying to do it since i started my youtube channel the other day i was doing a live stream to celebrate 1000 subscribers and i said if you have any topics that you would like me to cover email me email me or dm me on instagram or twitter and let me know i try to make these videos to help all of you so if there are any topics that are specific to you, please email them to me. So one of my subscribers, uh, his name is Abi. He decided to send me an email with a topic. And this is about bullying um, and bullying in high school. And like, this is a very, very serious subject. And uh, we talked about this, you know, a lot with the Logan Paul things going on. More, more and more young people are committing suicide. And it's, it's insane. It's insane. And a lot of it comes from bullying. So I'm glad I get to do this uh, video. I really wanna make more videos for teenagers and even people younger than that. Um, so let's take a look at Abby's email. I was wondering if you could tell me story of bullying. I survived it and it led me to the edge of taking my life. If you read this, this is my story. So it all began, I was about 13 and was a kid that likes to play video games like Zelda and Mario. Good choices, Abby. Dope games. All right, but the thing was that other kids didn't. They thought I was weird and called me sicko and stupid and other racially discrimination names. Basically, they called me the stupid Indian kid who liked video games. First, it was mental, then it started to become physical, and they tormented me. Punched me every day and fought with me. Eventually, I thought my life was not worth it. I went to do it. It was by a really high bridge in London. I jumped, but the regret filled my eyes. I jumped and held onto the pole. I barely survived. I want to share my story. Uh, so many people are unrecognized and that bully, bullying can lead to so much. So first off, Abby, thank you for sharing that story. Um, I didn't realize that you're a viewer all the way from London. That's crazy. It's crazy that I'm able to reach people on different in different parts of the world. That's nuts. And yeah, not only thank you for sharing that, but I'm I'm sorry that that happened. And a few things. So let's let's start talking about it, okay? So, man, I I often wish, man, I wish I wish I can I could go to high schools, middle schools and just try to teach young people to care a lot less about what their peers think of them. And it's for real, like, I struggled a lot in high school and like, I didn't really get bullied, you know? Um, I was kind of bigger and uh, because of martial arts classes and stuff like that, like, I was a very angry kid and when people tried to bully me, like, they learned not to pretty quick. But I had a lot of mental and emotional issues and I just felt like I never fit in. Um, and especially, I can relate to the whole video game thing. Now, first off, Zelda and Mario, beautiful choices, all right? But, man, I remember, I'll never forget, I will never forget, I had a substitute teacher in high school one time. And I think it was around the time that, like, yearbooks were coming out or something like that, and everybody's all like, yay, yearbooks and things. And our our substitute teacher, he said, um, you know, he, he just said something to the effect of, like, you don't realize it now, but you are not going to talk to like any of your friends from high school. It's all gonna end. And like, I remember just all of us were like, man, you're crazy, you're crazy. We're all gonna talk to each other, right? I'm 32 now, so I graduated 14 years ago. Oh my God, I'm getting old. But anyways, I graduated 14 years ago and there's literally like one guy, my best friend, who I still talk to from high school, like nobody else. Like we're Facebook friends and stuff like that. But it's, what what we need to start recognizing is, is that when you're in these stages of your life, especially these young stages of your life, that is your entire universe. And I'm gonna do some more videos on parenting and stuff because I, I think as adults, one of the issues we have is that we minimize what kids are going through, right? Like we, we think about the bills that we have to pay and the job we have to go to and all these other things and we minimize the struggles that young people are going to. And, and we can't, we can't do that because to them, that's their whole universe. So Abby, like when you were going through that, it felt like that was the only thing going on and there was no future. 
and and it's really sad and I'm again I'm sorry that that happened now like I said I wish I could teach young people to care a little bit less so here's the thing and we need to do more empowering things for our kids and stuff so like video games like right and I'm not sure how old you are Abby like Zelda and Mario they've been around forever so you could have been playing like old school like me NES or later on but like man we live in this magnificent time now like I, I did some videos on on this channel about how I was a professional gamer like 10 years ago like I was in the professional gaming scene people are making millions and millions of dollars on it and like when, when people bully in high school, you know, there's a bunch of different reasons for it. But the thing is, so many of them aren't gonna succeed in life. And, and that's the thing. Some of them will, some of them won't. But this is another reason why we gotta look at, you know, what our own version of success is. But if any of you are watching this and you're a young person, you're dealing with bullying, like what I, what I did, like I, I got into a lot of online video games and I made a lot of friends, I found that I wasn't the only one, you know? And I was a guy who played football, but instead of going out and partying, I'd go play video games. And some of the guys on the football team made fun of me for that. And I'm like, whatever, like I had a ton of friends, just a ton of friends. And I think especially when you're, when you're growing up and in high school, and this isn't just for gamers either, like do what you love. You know what I mean? Like I, man, I was just talking to another friend earlier and I just get so pumped when people are doing things that they love. If, if I know somebody who is doing what they love, I couldn't be happier. I just could not be happier. You know what I mean? So like if video games is your thing, if like band is your thing or whatever it is, like we gotta find these things that make us happy and stick to them. And if somebody else doesn't like that or thinks it's weird, like, like that, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't affect us. now. The issue is, is that Abby brings up the whole physical aspect of it. So the mental aspect is one thing. So before I jump into the physical, mental aspect, if any of you are watching this, you gotta talk to somebody about it. You gotta talk to your parents. You gotta talk to a school counselor. Like this isn't ratting anybody out. It's, it's nothing like that. You know what I mean? Because all of this falls down on the parents. If there's bullies at the school, that's not the school's problem. It's not music's problem. It's not movies. It's none of that stuff. It's the parents. It's bad parenting. That's just what it is, okay? But if you're the one being bullied, you gotta talk to your parent, you gotta talk to school. Like, in some cases, you gotta switch schools, you gotta do something, right? But I would highly recommend working on your own self-confidence, working on your own mental health. If it helps you get into some kind of self-defense class, um, I was I went through uh, martial arts at a very young age, but I knew it was only for defense. But these are the things where it it kind of it kind of helps you out. It gives gives you a little bit more comfort, and you know how to defend yourself in case some stuff goes down. But please, 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 if you are young, I don't care if you're under the age of eighteen, you got to bring this to an adult. You have to. You have to. Same thing goes with mental illness. If you are struggling mentally, like Abby, like when you're when you're when you're feeling down like that, you gotta talk to somebody. I'm glad that you found my YouTube channel, and this is one of the reasons I make these videos. I want more and more people to just have access to it on their phone or their computer or whatever it is. But your mental health is so 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 important. Okay, but I'm gonna end this video with this. Um, my son's nine years old, and man, I've uh, I've heard of just young people committing suicide and stuff. And, and my son, he doesn't really get bullied. There's some jerk kids. Like, kids are jerks. If I didn't mention that earlier, like, let me tell you, kids are jerks. And when I say kids, I mean, like, anybody under the age of 20, they're jerks. And then you, you get less jerks, like, as they get older. Anyways, when my son first started his YouTube channel, okay, me and my son have a YouTube channel. It's called Dillian Dad. And when he started it, and he was like, he was really excited about it. He's like going around telling his friends and stuff like that, right? And this kid comes up to him. This kid comes up to him and he says, I went up to your, all your videos and I gave him a thumbs down, right? And it bummed my son out. My son's, he's, he's a gentle giant. And he comes and, you know, and uh, he tells me about it, right? And I just laugh. I laugh. I'm, and he's like, why are you laughing? And I explained to him, I, you know, I just explained to him the YouTube algorithm and how that stuff works. I'm like, I'm like, it doesn't matter if he gives you a thumbs down. It still gives you engagement. You know, tell him to go thumbs down all your videos. And we kind of turned it into a funny thing. Because some people are just trolls and they're just going to be mean to be mean. 
But anyways, anyways, within a week or two, and I told my son this, I told my son this, and I, I truly believe it. I told my son, winners are gonna win, okay? I stole that quote from Gary Vaynerchuk, but he's never gonna watch this video, so eh. But anyways, I told my son, winners are gonna win. I said, Dylan, no matter what anybody does, if, if you work hard, you're gonna win. And within about two weeks, my son and I made a video for Star Wars Battlefront, and here is a screenshot of how many views that thing has right now, okay? It's, it has over 100,000 views, and my son's channel has over 500 subscribers, all right? And I constantly remind my son on a regular basis, I'm like, you remember that kid who thumbs down your video when you first started? Look at you now look at you now you know what i mean because that's what we have to think about like there's people who pick on us or they troll us or they make fun of us or whatever but if you stay the course and you do what you love you do what you're passionate about you build that self-confidence you stick around people who are there to love care and support you like you're gonna win you're just gonna win no matter what and then those people are gonna be sitting there feeling really really stupid all right but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope some young people were able to watch this video. And again, like get a hold of me. If there are any topics you want me to cover, go ahead and email them to me at therewiredsoul at gmail.com. Here is my Instagram again. If you wanna follow me and DM me on there, my Twitter is the exact same. Follow me, DM me on there. If there's any topics that are specific to you, please, please, please reach out. But here's a little surprise. At the end card of this video, I just did a video discussing the neuroscience behind online bullying, and it is over at the Authentic Mental Health channel, okay? So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm always making videos to help you with your mental health. Click or tap and watch that video I just did over on Authentic Mental Health about online bullying. It'll help you understand the science behind it, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.